okay so you guys can see my uh, ppt right okay thank you yeah so if okay so i'm um, um, like you know hope you are able to see it now right you know i just made it as full screen okay i was talking about the decision making statements okay uh, so i was not sharing that time so i just wanted to repeat that what i was talking about okay uh, in general like you know uh, every programming language is having these conditional statements okay so um, yeah before that like you know i just mentioned like how we uh, generally take those decisions you know in our life okay uh, to uh, to execute like you know to perform some criteria you know some task you know based upon your decision okay so your condition okay and uh, depending on that output okay you you're going to perform something okay some task every day okay so similarly if we check with uh, computer okay so it is also uh, does the same thing okay uh, but you know how to how to achieve this like you know how to achieve this kind of conditions okay in the in the programming in the uh, with the, within the computer right you know so we have to use with the programming language okay so how we can do that okay based on this example you know we can do it okay yeah so if you see here uh, these are the two conditional statements uh, which we have it okay um, you know mainly in the um, you know in the java okay so let us take the first one if else statement okay so if else is like you know uh, basically very simple statement which is having uh, two conditions okay so no 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 one condition which is like you know if block will be having a condition and else block is having, uh, you know, else block will be having something whenever it fails, uh, you know, uh, at the if block condition. So something like this, if you see here, if condition and, uh, you know, if the condition executes, uh, then, you know, you can see there is a Boolean expression or, you know, there is something that we write in that code. Okay. So in between these, uh, you know, uh, the flower braces between else and if condition you're gonna write some code over there and if this condition gets satisfies and you know uh, the code will be getting executed okay similarly else block okay if the condition gets false over here like you know it is not you know the condition itself failed i can say okay so then uh, the else block will be executed and in the else block okay so it is going to you know uh, display whatever you have written the code over here so if you if you check this example okay the below example okay so the condition is here and uh, let's say you know when i say condition so if you are just checking that you know uh, so if condition like you know four less than or equals to five okay so that means the condition is true okay so in that case actually this uh, it is going to pin, print that the condition is true otherwise you know if it is four less than three okay so the condition gonna fail at that time right you know it that case is actually you know the else block is going to execute okay so this way like you know a sample like you know you know if and else uh, conditional statement gonna work and before that actually i did not mention uh, one more uh, if statement over here but uh, you know there is one thing that uh, generally we also follow okay okay i'm gonna give that if okay
yeah hope you know you guys are able to see my notepad okay so uh, till now actually you know we are uh, checking on if else but uh, okay there is one more thing like you know if else if okay so that means you know if you have number of conditions okay uh, you know specific conditions to display something some output okay so let us take an example okay so you know if you are looking for a loan okay uh, in the bank okay so generally you know we usually receive some calls from the bank or we usually receive some messages okay uh, you know from the bank let's say you know it depends on your credit score okay so when i say credit score so what exactly it does okay um, one second i'll show you Is you're able to see my screen right notepad or you know uh, the ppt also are able to see it yes we can see okay Yeah, uh, Anurag, I'm going to tell about while loop, okay, uh, after the conditional statement, okay, because, you know, even though you can see a condition over there, yes, you know, uh, you're going to, like, you know, it is used in uh, in the looping statement, okay, so I'm going to cover that, okay, after this. Okay, yeah, so, okay, so what I was trying to say, like, you know, uh, in the if-else uh, Yeah, in the if else condition, okay. So if you are able to see my. Not bad, okay. So yeah. Something like this, okay. If uh, credit score is greater than Eight fifty. Then send message to client. Interest is ten percent on. Okay, so this is one condition, and uh, you know we might have multiple conditions. Okay, so else and if uh, credit score is greater than eight hundred, and credit score is less than eight fifty. Okay, in that case, actually, it's gonna say some, you know, it is going to send some message saying to the client, uh, like interest rate is 12 percentage. Okay, so, and one more condition that you go with the same similar way, else if, okay. Okay, so else if, you know, if you are having, uh, like 750 to 800. Yeah, that's like something you want to take 15 percentage. And then finally, if it is less than or any the final condition, yeah, you can just measure it. Yeah, it is 18 percent. So uh, if you have multiple conditions, you know, if you wanted to satisfy them and, you know, you can you can use the else if statement, okay? And uh, when it comes to 
else if actually you know uh, we have this else block at the end of it and you know if we yeah if you have a very specific condition you know to execute uh, that else block yeah you can try uh, you can add it otherwise you know you can still use else if and you can also close that uh, you know without adding a else block you know to that conditions okay condition statement okay yeah let me go to the next one uh, so if you have any questions on this Okay. Yeah, hope you know you guys are able to see my PPT now. Okay, I'm just sharing it. Okay, so yeah, so the another condition, right? You know, another conditional statement is switch. Okay, so uh, I can I can say that like you know. Okay. Okay. In in the if actually you saw, uh, you know, there are multiple conditions. Okay. So if we uh, when we go there, actually if and you know a condition and else if and a condition, and then we were executing uh, whenever that condition gets satisfied. Okay. But in switch, right? You know, the condition will be uh, like you know, the statement. The statement will be executed the expression will be executed once okay and depending on that value output okay so depending on that value output it has multiple conditions you know to show some output okay so let's say one small example okay so it's like um, if you can see it see it here the switch you know uh you know switch is having uh, expression okay and it has some case and value one and you know it, it is using some break you know in between actually we are going to write some code over here okay and here actually you know uh, we are going to you know once the code is executed actually you know uh, we are going to write a break okay and uh, once you know this is because like you know once a case is executed actually you know if you want to break that loop okay and if you want to break that uh, code and you know directly go to the next step okay so you're gonna write that break actually over here and so let, let us take one small example okay so i'm gonna pass i need you know an output saying that uh, if i pass a numeric number okay so you know i need to get what exactly uh, the weekday name okay so let's say you know we have seven days okay and if i pass one actually it should display me a monday uh, if i pass two it should display me you know tuesday like that you know if i pass uh, five or six you know depending on that you know it should pass uh, you know it should display you know a weekday name on it and once it is like you know if i pass more than seven okay so that means you know we you know more than seven or you know like i pass 10 okay so we don't have any weekday for 10th right you know so it should display a default message saying that you know it's an invalid input okay so something like that in in that conditions actually we go with switch okay switch statements hope you guys have understood that okay let me continue okay okay so you you know like you know how uh, the computer is going to take decisions you know using these programming languages okay so now i'm going to switch like you know one more extra gear like you know how to uh, you know perform a task repetitively okay depending on a condition or you know depending on something else okay how uh, you know generally you know the in these kind of things actually computers were used mostly okay so to perform the repetitive task actually we go with computers okay instead of uh, taking you know uh, you know manpower okay so let me go to the next slide okay so so let us consider one thing okay an example uh, so we have an application okay uh, which uh, which is which is having uh, you know so many tasks in, on daily basis okay so one of the tasks is like you know it is you know to test your application before releasing it to the users okay 
so like you know generally you know whenever we uh, release something actually we does that testing okay before releasing it to them okay so but uh, when you see it actually there are two different type of tests that we do okay if any any functional changes that happen on the application side okay we we perform uh, that functional change testing separately and the next you know we do a regression kind of testing okay regression means like you know even though it is not impacted you know for other screens or you know some other area so we do entire testing on the application okay so that you know we we, we it come under regression testing okay so that regression testing actually you know we have to perform every time okay let's say today we have some change and tomorrow we have some change and for that actually we were using that uh, regression testing every day you know it's kind of a repetitive task you know for everybody okay so if if that repetitive task can be taken care by a machine okay that will resolve our you know manual efforts a lot right you know yes this kind of repetitive work you know can be taken care by a computer in a very pretty much fast so let us take one example okay if we you know if we wanted to uh, write okay a b c d uh, task for uh, say 10 times okay so how many how many ways that we can do this okay so uh, i know in my in my view actually there are two ways okay one is you know very simple like you know the 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 thing that we do it from um, you know our childhood okay like you know writing that a b c d task one and a b c d task two like 10 times okay like whenever we are learning something you know new word or something like that so those things actually you know the task one okay a b c d and task two a b c d so this thing actually you know writing 10 times okay in this way computer also can do that okay but it's it's not a right way uh, to perform this task in this okay so you're gonna write system dot out dot print ln okay task one a b c d task two a b c d something like that so writing that statement repetitively 10 times is not an option okay so we have to uh, we have to do something in a different way okay to perform this uh, on its own you know based on a condition or based on something else you know it has to repeat okay so yeah let's see the second option the way to okay so this is our best way okay uh, how a computer can you know perform uh, you know repetitive task okay so something like this if you see here it is look it looks like you know uh, the same as if else statement okay but uh, you know a loop is com you know composed with you know loop keyword over here okay and you know we do have a condition where exactly it went to stop okay and you know you're gonna write some statements over here inside the uh, curly braces okay so what these statements does actually it performs some uh, some task okay uh, in the application okay it's gonna perform some task in the application and uh, let's say you know in our case actually we, we are testing one screen testing another screen testing another screen so it is going to perform that okay so so how it stops and uh, you know when to stop right you know so this condition will decide okay uh, when to stop uh, the loop okay how we do that okay so the generally you know when we uh, like you know let us take something okay some example okay so you wanted to uh, perform a task until unless it reaches you know a five five iteration of loop okay so you know initially it starts with one and then you know it is going to uh, perform this task one time and whenever it comes to the end of this while loop okay so either we're gonna increment the existing uh, value in that variable okay and in that variable once it is increased actually you know the loop gonna continue uh, come back to here and it is going to verify the condition and again it is going to uh, perform the same task repetitively until unless you know this condition get breaks okay so on um, okay so 
let us go you know uh, let us check actually you know there are three steps three points that we need to consider okay one is loop and the other one is you know uh, when to stop and the other one is loop block wherever we write some code okay to execute it so how many loops like you know we have it okay how many loops we have it okay in the uh when it comes to java so there i know i uh, actually i have divided into four okay but generally you know uh, we were um, in basic uh you know when it comes to the basic side actually you know we usually use this do while while and for loop for each loop actually i can tell you when we had uh you know when we complete the collection side okay so uh it is um you know it is going to you know it is going to um, you know come into picture okay i'm gonna tell at that time so it would be very easy actually to understand you know, when we have the collection so so let us go with while loop first okay yeah uh, so uh, let me give you one small example okay when we exactly go for a while loop okay so while loop is while loop is something that you know only the condition when to break that loop okay so let's say you now uh, on this image actually you can see uh, you know a guy is visiting a uh, post office every day you know to check whether he got a post or not or you know whether he got a letter or not okay so that means you know you know the condition okay so the loop is like you know the man every day visits okay to the post you know post office and he asks whether he received that letter or not right so once he received that letter actually you know this loop gonna break like that means you know the next day he is not going to come back to the post office so you know the condition where to break it okay and you know what exactly uh, that we perform okay in that in between that curly braces okay so you, the exact statements that you're gonna execute okay and you know the condition okay so that means whenever you know the condition to break it okay generally we choose while loop okay uh, you know to you know to perform a loop conditions you know when you are writing java programs okay okay that's what i i, I put it over here so sometimes we don't know when to stop our loop okay uh, so whenever we know the condition where we need to stop okay so that means you know in that case is actually we go with while loop okay and you know for such kind of repeated task actually we use while loop okay so uh, the conditions uh, look something like this okay while condition to stop and you know some instructions okay so what instructions that you know we wanted to execute in that block yeah you know that that thing i'm gonna write it over here okay while condition to stop and uh, okay so now let's break it down actually you know what exactly this uh, statement is having you know i think you know we already have done it actually you know uh, when it is a loop okay so while is having a keyword okay uh, to tell the computer it's a while loop command okay and uh, you know the condition that you you can see over here condition to stop okay you know, it is written in the uh, you know open braces and you know close braces okay and decide where to stop okay the condition okay so in our case the example we say when uh, the client receives the letter in post office okay so that is our condition to stop okay till that point till that point actually you know the instructions going to execute continuously until unless we reach that uh, we 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 receive that letter you know in the post office so in that in that condition actually you know you uh, you gonna use while loop okay so let me come to the do while okay when we go for do while okay so in in, in simple example okay uh, like you know um let us take you know one ice cream shop okay uh ice cream outlet okay when you visit that shop okay uh, generally you know you sometimes actually we prefer uh, to taste uh, some of the ice cream and then we go for you know uh, a full bowl right so um 
without a condition or without anything, the first step, the first statement has to execute. And then, you know, uh, depending on the other, uh, other, depending on the condition, what you read or what you tasted, you know, then the loop continues. Okay. So in that cases, okay, we go with do while. Okay, so in in computer side, like you know, when it comes, you know, not the regular um, regular example, like you know, whatever we discussed about ice cream shop, you know, tasting it, and then you know, you choose your option, saying that okay, I need this ice cream, and then you know, you start eating uh, that ice cream continuously until unless that cup is you know empty. So uh, this is the first you know uh, regular example, but you know, in when we come to the computer side, like you know. And what scenarios actually we go with do while? Okay, so the first one is the file. When you are reading a file, actually you have to you have to uh, you know you have to read uh, the first line of the file, and depending on that file information, okay, that first line information, okay, whether the, if the condition satisfies, then you going to read all the complete lines of that file. Okay, so in that condition, okay, we go with do while. Okay, so you you don't know what exactly uh, to perform. Sorry, you you know that first line is going to tell you, okay, uh, some instruction whether to proceed or not. Okay, so that in that scenarios actually we go with uh, do while loop. Okay. Okay, so uh, do is a keyword, okay, that, uh, you know, to computer to recognize, you know, you are using a do loop, or do while loop, and the do will, you know, execute the instructions, first, first instruction, you know, without any, uh, you know, condition. So that means whenever the computer see do, the first instruction will be automatically executed, and then a condition will be checked right after the uh, first 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 iteration of the instruction execution okay so while will be having a condition again and it will be ended with the semicolon okay so in this part like you know uh, you'll be seeing uh, something some condition on it depending on this condition okay the do will again execute the second uh, second iteration and if the condition again satisfies, actually, you know, the loop continues until unless this condition get breaks. Okay. Let's see one, one small example. Okay. So if you see here, so what will be the output? Okay. For this program, you know, if you understood the do while, okay. So uh, if you can, can somebody answer this? Okay, so I can see answer from Hanurag saying that it's one. Do we have any any other? Okay, thanks, Akil. Thanks, Supriya. Okay, so. Hope everybody understand, uh, you know, the loops because, you know, uh, the conditional statements and the looping because, you know, these are going to play a very big role, you know, when you're writing the programs, okay? So in each and every step, actually, we're going to use uh, these loops and, you know, conditional statements everywhere, okay? So if you have any question or if you don't have, if you have any doubts or something, yeah, please let me know because uh, this is going to be a very big role. So that's why I'm just like keeping very slow over here. Okay. So yeah, if everybody understood, like, you know, if you know the answer, you know, just give me the answer in the chat. Okay. Uh, or else if you, you can, you can also speak up. So I, I got uh, answers from Anurag, Akhil and Supriya. So 
um i'm hoping that you know everybody also understood you know other than these three people you know all of them have you know an idea like what whatever whatever i'm talking with uh, loops and all so hoping everybody knows that answer you know i'm taking that silence as yes okay if it is no let me know uh, i'm going to uh, cover again one more time okay with this okay so with that actually i'm going to show this answer like you know it is uh, as they mentioned it is one one second okay it is one okay right so this is do while okay and uh, there is one more uh, for loop okay which i was talking about okay so the for loop okay so here it is uh, you know it is very easy okay so you know uh, you know how much time that you need to repeat a task and uh, you know so you already aware of it okay so let's say uh, once uh, one general example okay you want to you came from some you know uh, you came from uh, some some different place to your home okay and uh, okay so you have a lot of luggage okay so like you know you have around 10 suitcase okay that you are carrying uh, you know you bought it from the cab and you kept it over there okay so uh, you know let's take like you know your uh, uh, you know how house lift is not working okay so you are staying at second floor okay so you have around 10 bags okay you can carry only two bags at a time you know uh, you know using stairs actually okay so what you're going to do actually you know you you know the limit okay so you have 10 bags and you know you can carry two at a time and the loop continues till five times right so you know what exactly the task and how much time i need to repeat this task and you know uh, like you know where to break it okay so in these condition actually we use for loop okay so same you know let us take one more example also uh, we have five seven weekdays actually you know for uh, sorry six weekdays okay so you want to um, like you know from monday to saturday you wanted to get up early in the morning like 6 a.m okay so you you keep an alarm saying that okay uh, you know 6 a.m okay for these many days and for sunday i don't want anything okay okay so such repetitive task you know can be achieved using for loop okay so for <clears throat> so yeah so for i know for loop if you see here uh, the start value and uh, condition way to stop and pro proceed underscore code so so how uh, what exactly this okay if you see here an example so this is the starting value which we are trying to declare a variable with the initial uh, you know initialization of one so that means the initial start of this for loop will be always one okay and we have a condition uh, you know uh, saying that i less than or equals to 10 that means you know uh, the the one one is going to be replaced here one less than or equals to 10 this is you know uh, this is you know uh, this is the condition uh, which it is satisfied now because the one is less than or equals to 10 and it is going to execute this hello world okay and once the iteration is completed it comes back to here i plus plus okay so that means the one is going to increment okay one is going to increment by one one plus one and then it will be two and again the condition will be executed two less than or equals to 10 yeah that is true so it is going to print hello world again on the screen one more time and it is going to increment the value one more time you know uh, two plus one and it will be three and again the condition will be checked three less than or equals to 10 once it is satisfied again it is going to execute the same thing so till which point it is going to execute 10 you know uh, when i equals to 10 actually you know 10 less than or equals to 10 yes that is also true then again it going to uh, you know print that hello world okay and it comes back okay uh, 
you know to the iteration so you know comes back to the iteration and you know it increment the existing value which is 10 plus 1 11 so when that condition 11 less than or equals to 10 yep that is a false condition so it is going to break that loop and come out of uh, you know the loop and it won't execute anything inside this process so that's how it works so start value and condition stop condition to stop and proceed code okay so proceed code will be helping us you know increasing either way or decreasing you know uh, the start value okay so whenever it comes to the close to the condition actually it is going to stop that loop okay so that that's simple actually the for loop is so you know the condition you know how much time you need to repeat it and in that case actually we go with for loop okay okay so uh, let me let me get this example okay so uh, can somebody tell like what exactly the output is so you can just say a is uh, like a or b or c or d okay don't treat it as error in the code because you know uh, we have okay so i can see the options c Okay. Right. Option three, option three. Okay. So Akil, I think you know you are clear, right? You know, because you uh, gave me a couple of answers C and B, and again, you know, you have given C. So you you might be good, right? Okay. So I'm just asking because you know I have multiple uh, options from you. Okay. Rest all, I think you know I have it C, option three. That's great. Okay. So uh, I think you know you guys all understood. Okay. So let me go to the answer. I'll show you that answer. So it is C. Uh, everybody is correct okay so it is going to print uh, four times because uh, the loop is starting from one and the iteration continues one plus one two and two is also less than or equals to four so it printed two times and three and four okay when it come to the five actually five less than or equals to four so it's gonna break that loop and come out of it and you know it is not going to print anything so the four is uh four printing four times james is you know is the right answer so yeah okay so let us not go to the oops concept okay before that i wanted to show you like you know uh, the examples that we have uh, done okay uh, so sorry the 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 theory that we covered uh, till today i'm gonna uh, give uh, small examples okay uh, using uh, the programming okay so let us do some code okay today and hope you guys are all are registered in replit and you know you having um, you're having that you know code to execute in the replit okay uh, let me share my screen okay uh, the browser hey guys if you are not able to uh, you know log into the replit uh, please do that and you know uh, it will be easy actually you know if you write some code and it will be easy to learn okay uh, uh, you know uh, li listening is okay and you know uh, like you know if you able if you are able to understand the concept yeah it is it is also fine but uh, when you write some code actually you will get more doubts okay so um, with those doubts only we will we'll be able to learn something new okay so one second i'm gonna share my browser Yeah, I'm sharing my screen. Okay, so hope you guys are you guys are all able to see my screen. Okay. And yeah, just logging into the replit. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so um, hope I'm I'm expecting some answer. Okay. So uh, the replit, uh, if you are able to log in, 
or if you're able to create a profile, you know, just give me a message in chat saying that yes. Otherwise, you know, I will, uh, we can, uh, if you guys have any questions how to create that profile and all, you know, I'll, I'll show you one more time. Okay. Hey, uh, thanks Anurag and thanks Supriya. Okay, uh, let me go to my ripples, okay. So rest all, I think, you know, they haven't registered, right, in the REPL, in the REPLIT. So I can see only two responses, okay, uh, where they, um, guys, come on, like, you know, uh, you have to, like, either uh, you have to set it up in your local or else, you know, you have to use this replet, you know, to uh, at least, you know, to execute this, uh, you know, programs, whatever we are discussing. Yeah, it will be very simple programs only. That's why, you know, I choose replet instead of going with our uh, uh, Eclipse or something else. So, yeah, if you if you are comfortable with the Eclipse or some other ID, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, you know, you can execute anywhere, but, you know, you have to right and you have to understand those things whatever we are discussing over here okay so yeah i, I can see you know a couple more uh, responses from the and akil okay so uh hoping that you know all other people also you know start following this and you know they have to uh, register and they have to start practicing it okay okay so yesterday we covered all the variables okay uh like you know what exactly the variable is and uh, i'm gonna show you like you know very small example okay it doesn't have much information just we we what we have done we just to call the data types and we have a variable okay and we're just storing one value into it okay and i'm trying to uh, display all the values which using with the system dot outward print alarm. okay so once once you see this example actually you you are seeing some specific structure okay so yesterday we we ran something like this test.java okay and you know we got this hello world test and you know if you see here there are two things which are common okay one is the class test and you know public static void main okay so when it comes to the variable example also you know it is having the class and also the public static void main so this is like you know uh, uh, for now consider it as a syntax uh, from java Okay, so you have to whenever you whenever you're writing some program, actually, it has to be inside the class and it has to be like, you know, inside the main block, wherever, wherever the code that you wanted to execute it. Okay, so um, I, I, I'll tell you what exactly this once we have the oops concept completed. Okay, uh, you know, how, how this, uh, why we are writing everything in the class and all. So I, I'll tell you those. Okay. And yeah, for now, yeah, just, you know, think about the variable and the data type and the initial initialization part okay so we have given a data type and a variable and which stores some value into it okay so in the bucket okay so yeah i just you know i'm just trying to execute this okay one second so it compiled successfully and let me write execute Okay, so if you see here, so it's going to, uh, it, it displayed, you know, uh, the values, whatever we have initialized, okay. Yeah, very simple code, like, you know, it's just only uh, the declarations and, you know, you're gonna, uh, like, you know, you, yeah, so it is going to display the values. Okay, so let me, let me continue uh, with the if condition. Okay, so whatever we discussed today, so uh, what I've done, actually, I have written some, uh, you know, code um, and, you know, make it, I'll make sure this code is available for you, you know, for testing. Um, you know, what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to create a Git. Okay. So in the second uh, week, actually, you know, we'll going to create a Git uh, link from here and uh, uh, the code, whatever we have it, actually, we can, you know, we can, uh, you know, commit into there and you guys can um, take it from there, you know, anytime. Okay, so till that point, actually, you know, if you want to write some code, you know, anything, if you want it, actually, I'll, I'm going to share this, uh, you know, 
uh, replets, whatever I have created files over here. I'm going to share with you all. Okay. So if you can provide your, yeah, I, I'll ping it in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Uh, offer, you know, to access to the my repls. Okay. Okay. So what exactly this if condition program is doing? Okay. So let's say it is going to find that whether the loop, whether the number, whatever you given it over here. Okay. Is it an even number or is it an odd number? It is going to tell us, okay? So hope, you know, uh, the 13. So, you know, uh, 13, I have given it over here. I'm trying to run, okay, uh, the program, okay? Java, if condition, right? If condition, okay? So it is giving me an exam, you know, the output as odd number. Okay, so if I just change it to 14 and just compile it and run that again, it is giving even number now. Okay, so I think you know we achieved the program, like you know, it is, um, it was able to satisfy, it is, it was giving the correct uh, output whenever we change this, uh, you know, uh, number. Okay. So hope you guys understood like, you know, where exactly we use if conditions, okay? So whenever you have a single condition, which uh, is having a true block and which is having a false block, okay? So else block. So in that, uh, in a two condition way, actually we use if else. And let me go to the next one, if else, if condition, okay? So yeah, I, I just took it uh, kind of a marks one, okay? So if it is 65 and you know, I'm gonna fall in the C grade, okay? And if it is 75, I'm gonna fall in the B grade, okay? So these things actually, you know, uh, we, we use it and you know, generally if it is out of the scope, okay, we are just printing invalid, okay? So for now, uh, the first time actually, what I've done actually, I have given us 65 as a default mark. So it's already compiled. So I'm gonna write Java if else if condition okay so it is giving giving me an output of c grade okay so i'm just changing this one to 92 okay stop and i'm just compiled it and the next one uh, i'm gonna run it with using java command java if else if condition okay so it is giving me now a plus grade okay so that means uh, it is going to uh, go through all these conditions like okay if marks is less than 50 no it's not less than 50 so it goes to the else block if marks is greater than or equals to 50 and less than less than 60 no this condition is also not satisfied it goes here it verifies and it goes here and it verifies then it goes here Okay, finally we got the condition 90 between 100. Okay, so it is it it printed the A plus grade. Okay, so while you change this mark, okay, let's say you know, I'm I'm gonna give 120. Okay, and just run it. If else, if condition. Okay, so let's see, you know, it gave me an invalid output. Okay, so that means, you know, 120 is, you know, not available in the marks. Okay, so that's how, you know, the if condition executes, if else if condition executes. Okay, and let me complete the switch condition also. Okay, it's gonna take two minutes. Okay, I'm already past uh, three minutes. So, okay, so, uh, uh, so this is what actually I was telling. Okay, so whenever, a case, okay, so you are passing a day five here. So in that case, actually, you know, uh, the value case five gonna execute and it is going to print the Friday, okay. So uh, so if, if it is like, you know, if you are passing something else, you know, some number 10 or something, it is going to give that invalid day because we always have only seven weekdays, okay. And in the seven weekdays, actually, we do have uh, different names for every week, sorry, every day, okay. 
So uh, right now, actually, it is already compiled. So I'm gonna just execute it. Java switch condition. Yeah, it is giving you as a Friday for us. Okay. So that means like, you know, if you change something over here uh, to nine and just try to compile it again and run it, okay, using Java command, Java switch condition, okay. So it is giving invalid day for us. Okay, that means like, you know, the break, the default case has been executed, which is invalid day. And, you know, all these cases seven, six five four you know it's not there so it it went directly to the default okay and it printed invalid day okay so this is how it uh all the if conditions uh sorry and yeah, the conditional statement examples okay and uh, yeah it is very basic example okay so if you need uh something like you know um you know some some critical examples or something like that you know i can give those uh, code directly okay uh, when we have that get re get repo created i can give that okay if you need uh, if you want to practice now okay you can practice it from the replit okay uh, we have a lot of examples and and you know we have a lot of other conditions also if you want to practice it so yeah if you need anything from my side like you know uh, kind of uh, a practice session i know practice programs i can give you uh, something uh in the whatsapp you know uh, so that you know you can come uh practicing them tomorrow then you know we'll continue with do while loop and for loop uh and also uh the while loop uh tomorrow morning first and then we'll start with oops concept okay covering all these uh five okay you know covering all these oops concepts tomorrow okay and the next day you know continuous you know uh we will have that uh We'll, we'll follow our uh, you know agenda you know to complete all the keywords and operators you know something like that so because i covered only control flow statements okay and uh, uh, so i'm gonna cover like basic concepts okay on you know next day and we'll directly jump into the collections okay so for now yeah just you know uh, th uh, this you know whatever we discuss for now actually if you have any questions you know do let me know i can uh, you know i can uh, i'll try to answer them and uh, i know i'm going to give some uh, some basic examples that you can write using these if else conditions okay um, you know with one condition uh, like you know odd and even number that whatever we have done similarly we do have number of uh, you know different type of programs which we can execute it Okay, so I'm going to give a couple of them so you can write uh, and you know you can practice them. Yeah, and any any questions on this today class? Okay, yeah, do let me know. I think, you know, otherwise, you know, we can wind off for today's session. Okay, thanks, Anurag. Okay, so hope you guys are understanding whatever whatever i'm trying to say because you know I'm, I'm just keeping more basic okay and if you have really if you have any other questions you know if you want me to cover it very slowly and you know if you want me to cover it very detail uh you know in detail also you know do let me know i'll try to uh, make it very detailed because i know like you know this is a very crash course so i'm just keeping um, like very high level and also i'm i'm just covering i'm trying to cover you know those very important topics okay you know which are very useful in the programming yeah those things only i'm i'm covering right now okay so if you have any questions you know don't hesitate you know speak out and you know ask me that question and whatever you need you know just i'll try to um, you know give it back like you know uh, from the uh, <clears throat> sorry yeah, whatever the question that you have, you know, I'll try to uh, answer it. And, you know, if you need more details on it, on the topic, I'll, I'll try to cover them. Okay. So please don't hesitate. Okay. And, you know, just uh, ping me or, you know, just call me um, or, you know, you can ask me in the call itself. Okay.
yeah i'm i'm taking yes actually you know the silence okay so because you know uh, i'm hoping that you you guys are able to understand this and uh, you know i'm i'm proceeding further so yeah let us connect tomorrow then okay we will uh, we will connect on uh, this uh, oops concept and you know i will continue uh, on the while loops program first and then we'll continue oops program sorry oops concept okay yeah thank you thank you everybody bye and good night thank you Thank you.